This is the mask that you'll see around. We call this a procedural or a surgical mask. This is the one that you'll see around for the most part. So always grab your masks by the handles on the sides. Easy not to put it on. You gotta make sure that you expand the mask, cover your nose and your mouth, and then this little rim up here, push it down so that it mimics your, uh, the bridge of the nose and your face, okay? Now, putting it on is, like I said, easy enough, but taking it off, it's very important how you do that. So the first thing you're gonna do is, if you're at home or somewhere that you have access to soap and water, then go ahead and clean your hands. If not, then just do it with an alcohol sanitizer. After you do so, you wanna make sure again that you grab by the strings, okay? Never touch the mask itself with your hands, okay? Because if you were outside and the virus somehow got into your mask and trapped it, you're gonna get it on your hands. So very important not to touch that mask with your hands. You can feel free to bend the mask this way, okay? And for storage, you can put the mask on um, a paper bag, put it inside, put it in a dry, um, cool area, dark area, and let it out to dry. It is reusable, so you can use it multiple times as long as you're not seeing any signs of wear and tear over here and the streams are working, okay? So once you put the mask away, don't touch anything, don't touch your face, put the mask away and then wash your hands again before you do anything else, okay? Now, there are a lot of um, cloth masks uh, floating around and a lot of people are doing it. Um, the CDC is now recommending that we could use cloth masks when we're going into public and don't have access to any of the other masks. Of course, it's not as sprayed as the other ones that I'm showing, but you can still use cloth masks. Very important that these are made with cotton um, cloths that are very, um, that have a very intricate web, but that are very finely adjust. And the same, you never touch the mask itself. You touch the strings to put it in and out and make sure that you expand the mask when you put it in so that it covers your nose and your mouth. This um, mask are washable. So feel free to keep two or three of them in your house and then wash them after each use. Um, just the way you would wash anything else. Um, if you wanted to wash it separately, that is completely fine too. The other mask, there are different kinds of um, N95. The one that I have at home is this one. There's another green one that you'll see around. And again, when you're putting it in, you have to expand the mask and be sure that the um, metal bridge is actually covering your mouth properly. Okay, so once you have it in, make sure that you tighten this area up. When you're gonna take it off, again, the strings, the lower one first, and then the upper one, okay? And again, don't touch the mask, always wash your hands before you take the mask off and after you pull it out before touching anything else. The purpose of this masks are actually, if you're around somebody who's sick, the droplets are gonna stick to the mask and are gonna prevent the virus from going in. So if you're touching the surface with the virus in and then you touch your face, then you can get the virus. So make sure that you're not touching this mask. These are also reusable. The best way to keep them stored is, like I said, in a paper bag in a cool, um, dark area so that they dry off before you use it again. Now, <clears throat> masks are a great way to prevent infection, but more importantly is to keep your distance. So remember six feet away from anybody who is sick or anybody really in public areas. And the other very important thing to do is wash your hands constantly. So more important than wearing masks um, is the fact that you keep your distance and stay home as much as you can.